Okay, then you take a walk the seat of water. Oh, yes. Five. 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 Induce is temporary, right? Induce? Oh, actually, induce can be either one. Induce can be either one. Uh, okay, which of the way are correct examples of induced magnetic with the decorative magnetic state on the refrigerator law? Uh, refrigerator law. Like, you know the... Is it, is it induced? Right. Is it? Is it induced? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Then, then let's step backwards. Induced means it's from a distance. Uh, I have a magnet here. I have a magnetic material here. This thing attract. So that's in use. Everything right. But it is right. Which one? Yeah. Oh, this one. X S L S. What the issue? A decorative magnet stick on the refrigerator door. Obviously, these are permanent magnets. So. No, no, let me look at it. I can't even see what's the question. For examples of induced magnet is a. Uh... Okay, but it's counted because it's your refrigerator magnetic. Uh... No, right. But you can still stick on. Uh... Oh, okay. So this is not magnetic. It's not. The bits of paper. <laughs> I'm not sure. What is that? The one is static electricity. Uh... Okay. So balloon is not. Uh... Two permanent magnets. That one is not induced uh, because they are already permanent magnets, so they just join attract to each other. One is a non-magnetic magnetic material. Or non-magnetized magnetic material. Okay, okay. Okay. Um I think. Cynthia was asking about Fleming's left hand rule yesterday. Uh, get used to it. Uh, and... Okay. Thinking ready to start. Okay, come. So far we have touched on three three hand rules. Uh. Which are the three? Three hands, three ways to use your hand. One is Say, uh, okay, Kang. You better know the conditions of when to use this one now. Uh. One is straight wire. So anytime in your question you see a straight wire, think about using the right hand grip room. Huh? So your magnetic field will be in a circle. And that direction depends on your current. So if my current is going downwards, mm, okay, come to the magnetic field in this case is clockwise or anti clockwise? Huh? Magnetic field. Yeah. Clockwise. 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 Is the current so it points downwards? Clockwise. In this case, it's clockwise. Can we really need to know how to use it? So, oh, by the way, uh, I hope you realize uh, if there's no current, there's no magnetic field. Uh, can keep that in mind. Now, next one is my solenoid. Quite 
All right, so if you have a solenoid like this, and the current is flowing through this coin, same thing, you can use your right hand grip rule. So question is, for this current by the way, where is my magnetic field or more exact, where is my N, where is my S? N is right. Stop is left, right? Huh? Um, make sure you know this. Okay, make sure your four fingers will be corresponding to the turn of the current. Huh? So by right, this is what you should you should get. Huh? Your thumb is pointing to the right. Huh? Okay, come, don't it, don't get tricked, no. It means thumb pointing to the right is your magnetic field. Okay? But don't forget. The magnetic field also extends like this. Right? And always realize one end is north, this end is north, that end is south. Okay, because the field always flows from north to south. But not inside. Uh. Inside is not counted. Uh. Inside, if you realize, it's south to north. Uh. But I'm not interested in the inside. Uh. I'm interested in this outside field. Uh. Okay? because your thumb is actually corresponding to this inside direction. Okay. Anything? Okay, some students will get this wrong because they thought that the thumb is corresponding to the outside direction, but it's not. Your thumb is corresponding to this arrow within the solenoid or within the coin. Okay, so therefore, N, S. Anything? Okay. Okay, I don't get confused. Now, the last one is, of course, your Fleming left hand rule. When do you use it? Now, look at these two cases. What do I have? I only have a current in a straight wire, and the second situation is a current in a coin. So, I, I don't use left hand rule at all. I just simply use my right hand grip rule. When do you use your left hand rule? When? I have a current plus an extra or external magnetic field. So if I put this aside. Now, same thing, I have this. Okay, I have a current. Huh? But that's not the end. I also have an external magnetic field like this. This one is north. This side is sound. Okay, so now I have two situations now, or two conditions, current and external magnetic field. This is when you use your Fleming left hand rule because a force is generated. Huh? You can, can remember how to use it? Where's my force? Use your left hand, make sure you know which is left and right. Thumb is my force. Current is my middle finger. Point downwards, middle finger point down. North, I mean magnetic field, left to right. So your index finger point left to right. Where is my thumb pointing now? Yourself, right? Okay, so therefore, for this case, the force is pointing towards you. Okay, so what happens is this wire will move on, move in the direction of the force. Huh? Quite amazing, right? Oh, no. <laughs> it's not. But lastly, guys, current, magnetic field, and force are all perpendicular to one another. So in other words, if I change my situation, can you raise on? I still have my current, but what if I put my manex in this manner? I put one magnet at the top, one magnet at the bottom, Okay, north to south. Yeah. So my magnetic field in this case is what? 
parallel to the current. Huh? Is there any force? No force. Huh? So take note. Okay, magnetic field and current are parallel. No force at all. All right. You need magnetic field and current to be perpendicular before you can have a third perpendicular force. Oh, come things here. How do they make use of this, this phenomenon? What do you mean? What kind of uh, object or use do they have for this? Just for fun. <laughs> make the wire move around. What's the application for this particular phenomenon you have? Pen. Pen. Like the, the, the one the ceiling one, uh, then you can turn. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, can. Can. But let's be a bit more general. When do you see this? Moto. Moto. Anything that has a moto. You have some. Okay, not this line. I mean, what I drawn earlier. Okay, so take note. Uh, okay. This kind of phenomenon is used in motors. Where, where do you find motors? Well, he said, give an example, fan. Where else can you find motors? Electric cars. Electric cars. I mean, not, not those petrol cars, but electric cars. Yeah, they make your electricity and they turn the motor. That's how your wheels can be turned. Okay. Uh, what was I going to say? Motor. Oh, by the way, come. Make sure you know this application, motor. So sometimes they call this motor effect. Now, the other thing that doesn't come out often, but something that you ought to know since primary school, basically, this is a conversion of energy. All right, you're converting electrical energy to kinetic energy. I hope you realize that. Okay, you're running a current, electrical energy, and the whole wire is going to move. And so that movement constitutes kinetic energy. But obviously the motor doesn't look like this, right? It looks more like something like this. It's my motor. Something like this. <laughs> okay, something like this. No. You notice there's a coin here, all right? And current is, well, DC. I hope you notice. DC, I can't use AC. So DC goes through, it goes one round, and then it goes back to your battery. Right, there's a permanent magnet. Come, quickly. Which way will this? this whole thing eaten clockwise or anti-clockwise. No, I'm not talking left or right, it's clockwise or anti-clockwise. <laughs> Can or not? <laughs> current, current. Normally I start with the current, middle finger, current. Tweeze your hand until your index finger points in the direction of magnetic field. So your hand should be something like mine. Let me draw the magnetic field in case you can't visualize. It's from left to right, yeah, magnetic field. So you notice something? There's an important thing, no? This side, this X. W X, the force is downwards. I, I try to get it. Try to get it. 
Okay. On this side, the force is acting downwards. Ting Ting, you get that? Okay. But on this side, your force is upwards. Huh? Make sure you use your left hand to figure it out. Huh? This is upwards. Huh? Yeah, try make sure you get it. I normally start with the current, uh, as I say. So you should get like this for X, Z. Or Y, sorry, Y, Z. Current towards you. Magnetic field left to right. Palm is pointing upwards. Can I? Think, can I? Yes. So being your answer, you can't just say left, I mean up or down. You have to say that it turns and be clockwise. Okay, so it turns and be clockwise. This is a real exam question, obviously. No, huh? take photo. Thank you, Dex. Details of the speaking, I fail to see. Oh, you can't even it, eh? But a few questions here that you better know how to answer. Why do I need for making like this? Why is this thingy? Ah, okay, why do I need one? So that So that I can control the current, right? But so what's the big deal of current? Why do I want to control the current? Uh, I'll come right now somewhere as well. As current increases, obviously your force will increase, huh? and that also means your turning in fact increases. So basically, you want to control the turning effect. Uh, okay, maybe I should add one more in front. Resistance of the resistor decreases, current increases. Mm, Jingjie, can I get rid of this variable resistor? Yes. Oh, can I? Can I just have a nothing there and just just have a wire? No, why not? No, it's more than that. Remember, there's no resistance huh, in the whole circuit. No, no resistance means what? I have infinite current. Eh? It's going to spoil the whole circuit eh, without any resistance. Uh, so basically, you do not want an overcurrent in the circuit. So you need some resistance inside. Huh? And of course, because it's variable, you can control the resistance. You can also control the turning effect. So keep that in mind. No resistance is bad news. Huh? Can we have a circuit like this? Huh? You can't. Huh? The whole thing will spoil. No? The battery will explode. It will go out into, into a fire easily. Huh? So you can't do this. Huh? Keep this in mind. Even in real life. Huh? If you're going to electrical engineering, don't do that. <laughs> serious, serious, don't do that. You can easily do that if you're not careful. You forgot that there's no resistance. Well, I did, I kind of did that, so I will remember that forever. Oh, Luckily, no, but wow, smoke up, uh, smoke uh, <laughs> You remember that. Okay, but the second question there's this thingy here. Hey, make sure you highlight the name. You need to know. This comes up quite often. This is called a stick ring because there's a split in the middle. Oh, I need to write the full words. It's called a split ring commutator. Highlight this. This comes up. In the past, it comes up almost every year. What is this device here? Split ring commutator because there's a split or two splits in the ring.
is important for a motor. Huh? Why? Anyway, the reason is there. Oh, so you don't, if you're watching this video, all this applies to you too. Now, I want both of you to label this thing, which I haven't done. There's this thingy here. This black thingy here is a carbon brush. This is a carbon brush. There are at least two carbon brushes. Okay, there are two carbon brushes. Now, I also want you to take note, this commutator is in contact with the carbon brush, but, but it is not fixed to the carbon brushes. They are in contact, but not fixed to one another. No, why so special about carbon? Why use carbon? You don't know. Yeah. Doing the thing. What's one form of carbon that you remember? Uh, no, pure carbon. Black. Black is also another name for carbon is graphite. What is a special property of graphite? Oh, soft. Yeah, it's soft, but we are not so. That's not so critical here. The thing is, it conducts electricity. But soft is an important property. Yeah. Okay, by the way, just one more extra note, even though this hardly comes up only once in a long time, or maybe hardly, uh, only some schools should ask this. But make sure you realize carbon brushes have to be replaced uh, regularly. Because of wear and tear. This one, if you can't remember, that's fine because not often asked, very rarely asked. But you have to understand, yeah, why? Okay, come, 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 come. Why did, oh, think that you have done this chapter right. Why do you even need a speed ring commutator? Why do you need a speed ring? Can't I just have a fixed circuit? In other words, can I just have something like this? Can I just have something like this without the, the, the speed ring commutator and carbon brushes? Can I just do this? Yeah. It will still turn off. Yeah. This thing, okay, it, it will still turn, but it's going to get twisted. Eh? Yeah, after a while, imagine this part here, if you keep turning and turning the whole thing up, but of course, since it's right, ultimately this whole part will get twisted around sure. and you can't turn anymore. Oh, you, sir. Because it's turning right. In this case, anti-clockwise, right? Oh, you just Okay, it's turning anti-clockwise, right? So it, this is our wires, huh? 
they are going to twist and twist and twist. Eventually, they are going to get stuck already. Actually, sorry. That is an extreme condition. More likely is, you know what will happen? No, more than that. Now, let's look at this again. Um, oh, I didn't draw too well. Okay. Oh, this one is important because they ask this very often, almost every year. So if I just have this thing, just now it was anti cop one, so this is not, this is not. Okay, so it turns over. Let me use a different color. So this side is a color that red. So once it turns over, this side is like that. What? Then no, my this side is now on the left already. Yeah, it just flipped over. But what about my current? No, my current didn't fit. Huh? My current is still like this. Huh? That means my current is still like this. Huh? Correct? Something. Because my rate, the current is flowing, always flowing back to the circuit. Back to the circuit. Right? So what happens now? Where are the forces now? Also in yeah, now my forces is the other way around. Eh? So in other words, your thing will flip, 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 flip. Do you need this sort of motor that flip around? Oh. No, your fan is turning one direction only, eh? either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Eh? So that's why you need that speed ring commutator there, so that you keep turning in the same direction without flipping, flipping, and flipping, and flipping. Mm -hmm. I mean, not to mention the twisting part. Eh? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow, you look tired. Yeah. I'm really tired. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Stupid. Stupid, what is stupid? I woke up so early. I was to go zoom. Then I come back. I did my homework. I think I'm going to my homework. Oh, why do you even go to the zoo? Because I must have got free ticket. Then I have to go to the zoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, so what the animal died? Oh, the animal died. Oh, no, 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 no
that will give you a stronger turning effect. OK, but what else? Just now, I also mentioned, can I have a, an iron core inside here? If you can insert it inside, possible, that concentrate the, the, the magnetic field. If you can. Yeah, there's some. Ah, stronger Yes. But no, it's not. Hmm? Right. It's a big trouble. It is not. It is not. But your exam question wants you to say that. <laughs> okay, let's go on. I mean, let me include Ting Jie's answer as well. Replace the stronger magnets. I think there's one more method. Yeah. How many you say? I have said so far four, including what you suggested. Now, the last one is to place the magnet closer. <laughs> <laughs> closer together but without touching yeah, they do, they do. I mean, of course in my next you know we touching I should not be touching the wire those that will strengthen the magnetic field yeah Okay, anything I miss out on? Mm. I think I've covered everything already. Yeah, I think I have. So therefore, yeah. It's worksheet time. Have I answered anything? Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's not about self, not self direction, right? I mean, if he's following the Earth magnetic field lines, yeah, no self direction. Stove and hot. Right. Yeah, remember, magnetic materials can be classified into soft or hard. Soft means easy to magnetize, so don't forget that. But yeah, direct. Oh, usually it's okay one. Right? Usually it's okay. But usually it's okay one. Right? Okay. Alternative therapy. Alternative therapy. Oh yes, Aiden, we are doing this worksheet right now, just to show you. Oh, oh, on the ground. on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> but you want a more scientific way, right? What, what is that way that I, I told you? Instead of throwing on the ground, you... <laughs> Unless you will throw repeatedly on the ground, then you are hammering, it will be more efficient. Oh, uh... mm. Mm -hmm. And then that should be okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Okay. Yes, the current is direct or alternating. Oh my god. Why is that correct? Okay. Then let's talk about people. Not people. Sure. He tries to wear people's that can be plotted using a using a you remember the practical how do you plot the magnetic field? You use a yeah. I don't know. Okay, guys, can you make sure that can be plotted using a... Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Remember, practical, they may ask you to do, but it's not common. Two minutes. No. Com uh, uh, take this. And she can produce and you take the... Those can be deduced with the right hand grip loop. Feel what can be increased by increasing the magnitude of the power. <laughs> Ah, wait, John, what? Feel 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 what? Please what you think you have to do. I'm sure I'm going to explain it. 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 I'm going to Oh, Three months. Okay. Does power change when it's in parallel? No. Okay. I do it it's three months.
Uh, I think the power you just had. I mean, I can't use the rest of the time, right? Because you got light yet. Yeah. I get too much. I don't know why it's a string out. I don't see the power. Why am I doing it? Then that means the power is. Ah, I don't know, man. <laughs> the whole thing is this thing. So you have to be open. Okay. This is after. Can you not? Connect. Electrical appliances to be a great teacher and lives. So a chemistry model. You need something more. No, but I want to have finish and best. Do not I don't know this. I just need to teach this. What I do? I don't teach anything. What? Why don't you teach anything? The maximum power is 65 MPA. The power of the human social is 5 Calculate the maximum which is of the section in the table. Section area different length. Oh my god! What does cross sectional area have to do with power? Cross sectional area is the skin. Yeah. Well, how does this resistance act? Yeah, how resistance should affect the color? Oh yeah. We are not the. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I even know what I do correctly or not, like for the population or the population. I don't know what they're asking. And then have to pulse and align in north south direction okay. when fully suspended. So, that pulse attract and that pulse repel for. Electricity from a main socket. All materials can be induced, no, right? No, only magnetic materials can be induced. Yeah, that is used to induce magnetism in the iron bar. So, you better know the word solenoid, huh? Coil. Yeah, Coil. yeah, anything in a coin is a solenoid. You take me so. Oh, just now I wanted to use it with your brother, but in the end we didn't. Hey. Yeah. 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 Uh, not really, but more for yeah. them to yeah. visualize it. Mm -hmm. What is true? 
Yeah, I think it's true. Okay, I won't guess. Okay. Come, Tim Chad, you know the answer for this. No, I've never heard. I haven't heard. What? I don't know what's true. No, what's the danger of using from the main source? I don't know. This danger? I mean, if you wet, then you lose. I thought it's as safe as possible, Ritty. This question is dumb. With this one. What, what paper is this? I think a school paper. paper. They ask this stupid question that I said I'm not answer. Yeah, this is a stupid question. Oh, kitchen, kitchen wet. The kitchen wet, you touch. Oh. What? I got free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Compared to what the thing is. It's quite safe already. Oh my god, I don't understand what they're asking. Hmm? I think more likely it's because the Voltage and current are quite high from the mains. Oh, yes. Because you realize that for, let's say, laptop, uh, for some appliances, there's this thingy there. This thing. What's the purpose? It's the converter. Yeah, basically, it's to lower the current and the voltage from the mains. So if you I have this thing, let's say your lamps are. Uh, are all connected to this thing. Uh, the lamps will have a low current and low voltage. So that reduces the danger compared to connecting it directly to the main. I mean, yeah, of course, because all these lamps, they have a certain optimum operating voltage and current. But but here is they're asking about the hazard. So, so I can guess that the mains will have a higher voltage and higher current. Electrical, <laughs> not just that the, the electrical potential of electrical shock is much greater. If there's anything happen, anything goes wrong, faulty with the mains, okay. Compared to let's say my you get electrocuted by your laptop, not like you know, because the current and voltage is are very low. Not like it's pretty much an addict one so is it in parallel? How would parallel? Let's say it's like anything. 35 lens. <laughs> Number of lens. <lamps>, wow. <laughs> you know, like, I was doing the work here. And after I gave up, so I have to do another, another subject. Yeah. I to come back to physics still again. Yeah. Yeah. Still know how to do it. Oh. Which direction of magnetic field produce the current carrying to the center by magnetic direction how respectively is? Which first, huh? Which is that? Uh, but which is correct, but you know why, right? Why is correct? I, I don't know whether parallel or anything. Else. No, it's parallel. They told you it's parallel. Okay, yeah. The two is parallel. So basically, it's just, yeah. To complete all the power together. Yeah, but yeah. Because each of them will get the same EMF. Yes. Okay, thank you, John. You, of course, you can calculate separately or so, it doesn't matter. Yeah, create the model. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think yeah, for the man. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. what was this? This one. Okay, uh, with the questions. Uh. Wow, uh, how come so many questions? Uh? Like very less. Uh, your different length and different cross sectional area, there's only one formula to use, right? Um, Resistance and then this is not the power with the P equals V over R square over R. Yeah, if you are. So technically, when. Oh, so some length. When length increases, mm -hmm. the system decreases. Mm -hmm. No, I thought it's longer than the. It's more resistance, right? Uh, more, more material yeah. to flow through. Yeah, but. Yeah. So what? Like, 
there's an increase in length of our resistance and also power will decrease. Thank you. Look at the question carefully. Yeah, what kind of power are they asking for? Yeah, right. Power loss. Yeah, power so loss. Huh? Increase in power loss? Increase in power loss. No, increase. Obviously, they are losing power because it's longer. Okay, wait, so increase in length. Cost mm. increase in resistance. Not that yet. But increase in resistance then increase in power. Only, only tomorrow. No, no, Tuesday. Tuesday. Goes to one hour. Huh? Just one hour? Yeah, because I don't know why the other is. Wait, oh, waste time, man. Yeah, one hour. Eh? Tuesday is one hour. Job and then Oh, which question? 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 Which the increase in power loss. Oh, I'm not expecting any sense of this. What is question one? Question one. Question six. Six. MCQ for me. MCQ. I'm going to do the the one number six. <laughs> Oh, but they already said it's demagnetizing, uh, so it must be AC. Is it magnetic? Is it, is it magnetic? No, okay, A. You need to remember them. Uh. Okay. Uh, for primary school, yes. Uh. <laughs> they never mentioned anyone. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. The textbook never said that. Still. Yeah, but if you come across an unusual yeah. substance, uh, you may want to suspect it can be magnetic. Uh. I mean, for physics, uh, if they mention an unusual substance. It's hard. Yeah, yes, you need to remember that. But it's soft, right? Electromagnetic, you need soft, yeah. meaning you need iron. Yeah. It has no magnetic property. Ah, uh, yeah, I still what, but I don't, and but still is hard what. So what? What's the it depends on the question first, right? What's the question again? Pick up matters. Number one, uh. Oh, which method pick up? Oh, oh, just just not meant to take all. Oh, uh, which method should be pick up? Oh, uh, okay, so question one. Just meant to take. Meant to take. Four. 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 Which again shows the induced magnetism in the iron bar? I forgot. Okay, it didn't show the stroking, just like that. Uh, how, how, how the one starts? Yeah. Stupid X question. I got sun. Iron I think something is missing. Uh. It's... What? <laughs> oh. D. Yeah. D. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why? Uh? Let me see. Mm. I think we induce one pole, then another pole will be a different one. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with the question. Wait, wait. It's a magnetic material or not magnetic material affect electric charge. What kind of question is that? Where? Um, 
Balance is good. 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 Balance Right hand, left, right, right. Is it a matter or not matter? Not that doesn't mean anything. Is it conductor and insulator? Doesn't mean anything. Can it be given electric charge? Doesn't mean anything. So the only thing that matters is should be the D, right? Mm. Question five. This one, huh? Very weird, no? Thing. I don't think there's an answer for this. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. hmm? uh, what is uh, what number six? Number six. Oh, number six, you better know demagnetizing means you need AC, right? Yeah, yeah which diagram show you AC? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. And then? Should you leave the magnet in place or remove it before switching off? You know, then follow you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, it is. You have to remember that. Huh? You can't leave it, leave it in place huh? because the final cycle will still make it a minute before the final cycle of the electricity. Oh, is it? It's right on this. It's right data. Okay. I should think so, yeah. I should think so. Okay. Yeah. Anyone want to show their phone phone? I got this. Uh, you mean there's really a solenoid in your in your in your class? Yeah, like you have like a lot. Oh, a lot of toys. Toys. Huh? Seven. Uh, oh, we sure. Wow, this one is a standard question. It comes out all the time. It comes out all the time. Draw the magnetic field. Huh? Is there something wrong with the question? What is deflection? Deflection. That means where is the compass needle pointing? Yeah, that's one. That's one. Uh, atas word. Make sure you know the meaning of deflection. Atas. <laughs> So your compass should follow the magnetic field lines, right? Draw out your magnetic field lines if you're not sure. Okay, right, no problem. I just draw magnetic field lines up. Huh? Yeah, then see which of the compasses follow or align with your magnetic field lines. Shouldn't be difficult. This one is a standard question. Just yeah, yeah. The rest, the rest don't look right. Uh, uh, you haven't finished. Uh, two forms. Okay, I think. Okay, I don't really open that. Oh, I didn't know the meaning was concentric. No, okay, then you better <laughs> remember just now the straight wire. All right, how do the few lines look like? No, no, just now I didn't complete it, but basically they are in many circles, right? So Come in, can quickly tell me direction of this few lines, clockwise or anticlockwise. Uh, anticlockwise, huh? So, uh, think you take note, uh, describe 
a few lines. These are in concentric circles. The magnetic few lines are in concentric circles. It's not just a one single circle, but right? Yeah, it's not. Okay, you can look at what or that phrase concentric circles are. They can sometimes ask about it. Remember what the I say current does it affect the magnetic field? It turns you better drag somewhere, current increases, magnetic field strength increases. Yeah? And how about the direction of current? Does it affect the magnetic field direction? Yeah. Yeah, you should write. Circuit break up when I manage to break the circuit when it's a current flow. Oh, this one is. I'm um, so once in a while. So it's not. Yes. Yeah. I've seen that for you, right? Okay, long. Xinjie, uh, Ming King asked you about this I. Oh, it's true. Oh, so uh, a permanent magnet. Yeah, false. Why? Okay, the, oh, you need to know what part, which part is false, and the false is. In a circuit breaker, it's not a permanent magnet, it's an electromagnet. Okay. Later, I'll show you the diagram. All right, make sure, try to remember that even though it doesn't come out often, circuit breaker includes an electromagnet inside. Yeah. Yeah. The force on the current carrying conductor is reversed from the shear direction. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the for in which direction does the wire? Oh. Hey, it can No, 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 like that. Well, when it is north to south, okay, fine, fine, right? Yeah, yeah I know your finger. How, how, how to move your hand? So, okay. left hand, uh, current is down. Current, uh, down, and you twist around until like that. <laughs> huh? Yes, in that single is magnetic field. So it's pointing towards me, no? I mean, I uh, was that. <laughs> are you sure? What? They want to slam. They want what? I think they want what? No, they want the force. Just so when you point. And there's no outward answer. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, um, it's A, I don't know. A, I don't Is it? Uh, okay, because I block it up. Let's see. Wow. Yeah, good. Good. Is there a... Sure. Yes, you're supposed to get in. Huh? Sure. Current, How do you point? Current down, right? Down, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Then, magnet, north, south, right? So... Okay, look. And then it points that you're also imagine you're at A. Uh, okay, okay. I overthink it. Yeah, you overthink. But try to get it right, like, really. This is like free mark. Yeah. Yeah. Funny questions can come up. So, yeah, I think you make sure you convince yourself it's A. You know, the serious thing is you need to know how to find. I, I just hate this. Anyway, just to let you know, during the COVID years, this whole magnetism and electromagnetism were not tested for all levels. <laughs> it should be me. Uh, it's okay. You already got your discount for PSLE. Oh, it was so much. Oh, it was. It was. It was uh, <laughs> a lot. Not like your brother. No discount at all. I was so happy when I heard it. Oh.
Okay, for M and then for they have finished my finish. Probably die from collisions. Say 11 minutes, right? Hmm? Right. Electro minutes, right? What was 13? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, once you see a coin, chances are saying electro minute. So what's that? I can. Yes, iron. Yeah, iron. Iron and iron. This is the best combination of materials for M, L, and S. For M, you want it, the coin is basically an electromagnet. So whatever goes inside the coin should be what? It's a soft or hard material. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Okay, good. Oh, why? <laughs> but okay, okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron is good. Because you don't want the thing to be stuck there. Okay. And then what is the last one? Yes, it's the stuck. The pushes the impact. Oh no, but it's a stuck, no? Stuck. Stuck is basically something uh, that's hard. Not necessarily. That can that can be considered a stop. But it's usually hard. But look carefully, you know. What's behind the metal um, piece? Do you see the black L. thing there? Yeah. Not necessarily hard. So huh? L is travel. Hmm? But let's look at the question again, uh, just to be sure. Okay. S is the start that cushions the impact of L. Oh, so S is the variable, is it? Yeah, that's ideal. L is that's ideal. L is ideal. Yeah, so it can be attracted, man. So it's real? Yeah. Right. yeah. Because they, it's the sentence here, I hope you notice, uh, S is the start that cushions, so cushion must be soft, right? I mean, softer than metal. Do I have a magnet? Where? Like the door. Door? No, these are not magnetic. But this is, if you want to play with that. You do it. Equal at X. Right. Four. Hmm? Think they have finished already? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh. The point is how does the point move? Hmm, try to be sure about this. Ah, 11. Ah. Oh, 11, you better get it right. Current carrying is a straight wire, correct? The straight magnetic field points X, Y, and Z. Compare. Oh, this one tricky. I don't know whether it's or not. It's fine, huh? You have to draw it up. So, uh, if I draw it up, this piece of paper from top view. Okay, top view. Uh. Come, how do you draw your current as a point or a cross? You're looking, your eye is here. Can you remember point or point. cross? Yeah. Should be point, yeah? That the convenience of size point. How do I draw the magnetic field? Circles, right? Concentric circle. Right, so imagine where is X, Y, and Z. Likelihood, this is X. This is Y. This is Z. Now, the trick is this the closer you are to the wire, the stronger the magnetic field. Yeah, all strength. Are you sure? X is the close. I mean, Y is the closest, right? Agree? Okay. Uh, come on, you know your geometry, right? Y should be the closest, right? Then X and Z by right, they should be the same. Same distance. 
Okay, so you need your maps to help you too. Yes, I mean, the X, the cross and the IT. Uh, uh, remember the arrow? Okay, arrow towards you is the dot. Away from you is the flexion. Main thing, make sure you know that uh, the dot and the cross is going to come up too. It's what's inside here. Hmm? How does the coin move? Huh? Okay, now you better get the mark as well. Mm. How does the coin move? Wow. You better use your hand. Huh? Oh. <laughs> what, what, uh, what, what the what? Okay, hold on. Uh. Kara is going up. Uh, when I pick you like that, so you're going to move into the paper. Yeah, you can't up. Is it like this? Like like this up? Okay. This one I did write down here. Current is going up like this, right? Okay, going up. Yeah, even the second coin is also going up. So current is your middle finger going up. So let me see. You tease your magnetic shield for the index finger, so your thumb is pointing in, correct, into the paper. Into the paper? So it's along the magnetic field, right? No, no, no. Something is wrong, huh? There's no answer. Oh! <laughs> hey, there's no answer. Right, so the camera is here. There's no answer. The coin experience for the video, how does the coin move? There's no answer. Should we, should we oppose my magnetic field? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it, it should. Along the magnetic field? No way. It cannot be parallel to magnetic field, right? Okay, this one is wrong. X to Y. X to Y. Not possible. It cannot be in the same direction as your current, right? Out of the paper? Rotates about the axis, X, Y. Or not? Oh, yes. What's the best answer? No, if you think about this, come. Well, this one is tricky. Eh? <laughs> Very tricky. Eh? Remember this end? There's another current, right? Correct? Oh, uh, wow. So you have to take, take note of both. Huh? So, okay, come. For this side, left hand side, it, the force is into the paper. Okay, this one goes into the paper. Huh? No, 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 no. This side is into the paper. But this side is out of the paper. So that creates a turning effect. Eh? One side in, one side out is a turning effect, no? Okay. Yeah, it's D, eh? Uh, uh, you get it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was only 50% uh, So don't forget this side also. <laughs> I just hate the rule so. Uh, you're not done yet, no? For both of you, there's also a right hand rule. Uh. Right hand. That means right hand rule. It's the same thing. Almost, but you need to know when to apply right hand, when to apply left hand. It's still the same rule, no? Force. Magnetic field current still the same, but this one is applied for a generator. This one is applied for a motor. Oh, very simple. What's a motor? Motor converts what energy to what energy? Yes. Generator converts. What? Generator converts kinetic to electrical energy. So the 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 fat simulation wire like show show when I go put the magnetic and all then. The light bulbs. Light, right? Light bulb, right? Uh, you know, that one is kinetic to electrical energy, right? Uh, so that one you have to use your right hand rule. Uh, okay, never mind. Okay, come, let's go through all the answers to make sure your answers are right. Oh, first blank. Uh. Let's ask him here. What's the first blank? Uh, this one is tricky, uh, I mean. 
how do you turn the magnetic material into a magnet by magnetizing it, right? But magnetizing is already given below, so the only thing is induction. You can also <laughs> use induction to convert magnetic material into magnets. So in deep induction is from a distance. Uh. Okay, you don't stroke it, you don't use DC. Make sure you know the magnetic fuel lines can be plotted using a compass. This is primary school question. Suspended freely rest in north south direction. Don't go and put this rest. Okay, otherwise you deserve to lose your mark. <laughs> yeah. Like poles retail. Yeah. Unlike poles attract. It is oh. oh, okay, okay. Mine is slightly different. Attract and retail. Okay, good. This one, what magnetic materials? So magnetic material can either be soft or hard. Huh? But magnets are not uh, magnets are either permanent or temporary. So make sure you know the difference. Okay, hard magnetic materials can become permanent magnets. So becomes temporary magnets. Keep that in mind. Okay, hard are difficult to magnetize, soft are easy to magnetize. So magnetizing is through stroking or direct current. Demagnetize is through. Heating, hammering, or repeatedly throwing on the ground if you want, and of course, alternating current. Yeah, there has to be a set there. Yeah, actually, it works now, unless your teacher is crazy. That means he wants to follow the border answer exactly. Oh. It, it does work, it does work. You can try. <laughs> All right, lastly, uh, not lastly, this one, anything else? Yeah. Oh, here. Do you have that? You do, right? Okay, resultant force. Remember, in throughout physics, there's only one word that comes after resultant. The right hand. Huge strength. Oh, I forgot right, right hand. I just write the right. Right. Oh, okay. You better remember that. Hand. That's okay. They don't care about the grammar. <laughs> Few what? Direction. What is that? Few lines. But if I, I have few lines. Few lines. Uh, few lines. That's not precise enough. Uh. Few lines have direction. Fleming's left hand and turning effect. Okay. Take note of this turning effect. Uh. Take note. Okay. MC two or four of us. Come, A. You better know the rest of that, too, huh? B. Oh, you're asking me. <laughs> yeah, the nearest. Boss. Boss, I think. And induced to become a next dimension to means boy in the same direction. Yeah. Once, they are once they are magnets, yeah, of course. Their domains will be in the same direction. Hmm? Who are not? He says all materials. All, all, all materials, yeah. Okay, good, good, good point. Not all materials. Good point. All right, direct current, inducement, and demand on the first of the night. Okay, cool. Okay. Next one, force. Yeah. Can this one try to get it right? By right, the few lines do not go through the magnet itself. By right, not through the center, the, the, the material itself. Be sure. Okay, next. Two, make sure you get this right. Permanent is hard. Um, oh, this is the word that I want to tell you. Uh, yeah. If you see this word, it can come up sometimes. It's a magnetic material. It's metallic. Uh. It's silvery. You, you check out the theory table. Uh. It's one of the elements. It is one of the elements. Somewhere at the bottom. Neodymium. Oh, okay, then never mind. All right, but if you forget it, then hopefully it doesn't come out. Uh. 
Uh, you say see anything funny for me? Uh, see anything funny? Okay, G, I think we've gone through just now, right? H, better say that it's true. Strength and direction are affected by current. Can a stronger current mean stronger magnetic field? Okay, I think I have gone through just now. J is true. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Right hand grip rule, no, you use your Fleming left hand rule. Okay, turning effect. Okay, nothing much to elaborate on. Okay, come, let's go through MCQs. Okay, better get it right, yeah. No, seriously, better remember. <laughs> Magnetic hey, material. Yeah, there we have. Yeah, nickel, oh. steel, and iron. Those are the primary school ones. What do you mean primary school? You know, primary school. Every primary school student knows that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know. Oh, but since you're in secondary school, you can add in this guy here. Where's it? Neodymium. Yeah. Oh. Neodymium. Yeah. Yeah, forget it. They want us to know that you teach them. Then we're very good. Yeah, ask your brother to learn. Oh. <laughs> okay, this one I think we have more or less touched on it, so you better get this right. Okay, three, we have touched on it too. Four? No, think yeah. Primary school? Yeah. Yeah. X will be attracted to the method. Oh, no, I don't. When you stroke it in this manner, which end is uh, north? This end, no? Yeah, this end will be south. Huh? Remember, that is a primary school thing. Huh? Huh? Question five, forget it. I think there's something wrong with it. All right, so north versus north. Well, of course, they return. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Okay, primary school thing. Stop saying primary school thing. It's fun, right? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Lah. Okay, six, you've done it. Seven, seven, yeah, anything? Oh, you've done it, so D, yeah. Mm. Okay, eight. Hey. Okay, up to magnetize, but we can, yeah, good. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Okay, make sure you get this right. Okay, then I think we'll discuss it already. Eleven. Yep, eleven we'll discuss it too. All right. Yep. The rest you'll we'll discuss then. Okay. Any questions for today? Of course there are more questions next week. So in the workbook, right? Uh they Hey, you didn't bring your paper, Jing Jie. Get off my back, right? You know what? Enough, right? I go and go home, but I can't scan my page. Okay. I'm done. Okay. I keep forgetting it. I'm not good with my ear. That doesn't help, right? Because it didn't appear. I don't know why. Uh, I think I, I go set the timing a bit. Oh, no. Okay, answer his question first. Uh, so, the they show something like that. Mm. Then they ask. Yeah. What's this? Huh? What's this thing? Uh, oh, my God, it's proton. Proton. Oh, okay. And then they ask how, what, what's the resultant force? And what, what this? The dot in X. More like the current. No, no, no this is a electric field or is it? Is it an electric field or is it a magnetic field? Magnetic, I think. Oh, okay. yeah. Magnetic field. Magnetic field, sure. Yeah. Oh. This is proton, right? Oh, then, okay. Okay, at first, the proton is in which direction? No, initially, it's, is it left to right or is it top down or <laughs> moving out? No, no, left to right. Yeah. Left to right. Yeah. Just say like that. So, okay, where's your current then? 
current is still the proton, huh? but is it correct? Correct, huh? Because remember, current is still to <coughs> in the wire is still the electrons, right? But electrons is opposite to the current. So you can take the proton direction as the current direction. Uh, okay, okay yeah, let, let's rephrase it again. Okay, okay. So the current, uh, like that, right? Hmm. Then this is pointing in, right? So you get the trees like that. Yeah, my thumb pointing up. One. Yeah, then it moves up. Okay. okay. Can I make sure you can twist your hand now? I feel like my nice big break. Uh, I am very patient. I see that's the five minutes. Hey, come in, King. What's the formula to use? Uh, actually, you can analyze like that. Maybe even things you can see also can tell, right? What? Just based on this, uh, you do not need extra information. But there's no V here. Oh, it was the question. Yeah, yeah, power formula, right? Which one? I square I. 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 P equals to I squared. Ah. Okay. So this is that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So power is less. So I just put five to zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your R must be less than that number that you calculate, right? Yeah. You need to write down. I square ohms. I square R. 65 ohms squared times R. Did they tell you the resistance? No, they didn't tell the resistance. Why do you say 65 ohms? It told you the current, 65 ampere, right? 5 volts, right? But that's power loss, man. Yeah, I know, no. But P equals to I squared R. What's the condition? Uh, the I is 65 amps here. Power is how many? 5 watts. Uh, what's the condition? Maximum. No, no. Maximum power is what? Did they sell tension? No, no, no. Same, same. But there's one statement there. Yep. Must be less than 5 volts. So, so I can rewrite. This as P is less than pi from right? So therefore, I squared R must be less than pi from right? Then you use your inequality to solve it. Huh? Oh. Then 65 squared R must be less than pi. So R must be less than pi over 65 squared. Oh, okay. oh my god, that's so amazing. Yeah, great. Yeah? And 65 squared is confirmed a positive number. So you then to reverse the inequality. Five, okay. five square. In, in university, you use it all the time, no? There's no exact answer, and everything is inequality, no? Your answer is an inequality. Uh, I'm teaching you extra things, right? Oh, don't waste your maths, huh? <laughs> right. If you are going to electrical engineering, yeah, lots of it. Lots of maps. Hello, hello, that's all. So we should know what all six is next. Next year. I don't know. Let me just double check the answer. Six five. But it's very high. I thought, okay, long, just follow. Yeah, long. If you follow, then it's correct. But this resistance is quite small. What cause are I'm going to teach PFG, a body foundation program for those who are going from N levels? I'm also teaching biomedical science. 
Walao eh. Don't you think I can't get in really? I, I cannot go here. <laughs> <laughs> well, medical science, I think it points to L1, R4. Eh? Is it yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, I think, I think can Oh my. Let me show you. I think we'll go lower to fix it. Go lower? Yeah, I don't look at anything. Uh, I just got the first one. Uh, where's the SP? SPO levels. Of seven, sorry. <laughs> No, that's like one, oh, that is not one down. Okay, what do you think about it? Maybe next year we become eight or nine again. <laughs> you know, our batch is the worst pure science batch. You mean for your school? Not by the story. Is it? Uh, well, it's not, I can go to chemical engineering 14. <laughs> not, it's not. I should go to other classes. <laughs> like optometry, right? Eh? Yeah. What? Oh, optometry is not here. It's under health sciences. Do what? Uh, then prescribe glasses. Uh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you work in the shops, uh. oh, spectacle one? shops. Damn yeah. Okay. But you have to work weekends, uh, don't forget. I love Mr. K, my yeah. important. Yeah, the salary is one of the highest. For for starting all the grant. Ah. 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 Ah.